Hello, I'm Heather from Nellie's Hobbies. Thank you for joining me today. I recently shared this new home card on my Facebook page. As you can see, I used heat embossing on this. So some of my friends asked me about the process, which I explained to them, um, but they asked if they could see it in action. So that's what I'll be doing on this video today. I also wanted to make a spotlight card. So I've combined those two things here and this card. A spotlight card just means that you are spotlighting or highlighting one part of your card design using colour or in some cases by leaving one part without any colour. In this video I'm going to make a slightly different version of um, this card. Um, so here's what I'll be using. Don't worry, I will have all of this information on all of the products that you need to make this card available on my blog, which is at www.stampwithnelly.wordpress.com. Okay. So today I'm actually using these Whisper White narrow note cards and envelopes. These come in a pack of 20 cards with 20 envelopes and are just new in the spring and summer 2018 catalogue from Stamping Up. Now, I've already gone ahead and attached this foil panel to my card and that's why where this card differs slightly from the one that I made earlier. This panel is four and three eighths of an inch by two and three eighths of an inch. So I, I used um, Tombow multi-purpose glue um, to stick that panel on just because it gives you a little bit of time to wiggle it about and make sure that you've got it perfectly in place, especially when you've got such a small margin to work with. So let's get stamping. Now I've got two pieces of powder pink card that each measure four and one quarter by two and a quarter inches. I don't actually need them both to be exactly the same size, but it was just easier to cut it that way. So because we're doing embossing today, the first thing that you should use is an embossing buddy. Basically all that does is make sure that you remove any static or um, fingerprints from your card and that way you get a nice clean embossed um, image. So I've quickly done that. Then we're going to be using Versamark um, which is clear. Um, so this is the one that I'm going to use as my main panel. So I'm going to um, use the stamp from the heart, which is from this Petal Palette um, stamp set, which um, is actually comes in two different parts of it. Fabulous stamp set, and we'll be using one of the other bits in just a moment. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that up in that top corner there. Nice firm pressure. And there we go. Now you may not be able to see that, but there is a very slight um, difference in the colours from the Versamark part, um, ink pad. The next stamp that I'm using from the, the other part of um, Petal Palette stamp set, I've already mounted on a block here and I'm just going to load that up on the Versamark there. Just make sure we've got a nice um, covering right over the stamp there and then that is just going to go in that bottom corner there. I'll just move that up slightly. Without... There we go. So again nice even pressure on there and we've got perfectly stamped image there. Now while I've got this stamp I am going to do the other part of it. for the spotlight. There we go. Okay, nice 
this lid on. So we're finished with our stamps, we'll put them out of the way and we're going to bring in the embossing powder. Now I keep mine in um, little tubs that I mark so that I make sure I get the right one. And this is the um, gold stamping emboss powder because we're using the gold foil there I want that to match rather than the one that I used there was the copper one. So all you need to do is make sure that you're over your container and I'll just move that one out of the way and simply sprinkle that over your embossed image. Give it a little tap so that you've not got too much excess and just make sure that you've covered the whole thing there. I'm going to turn that round and then just do the same on my sentiment there. There we go. Now, because I used the embossing buddy, I haven't really got any um, stray bits of embossing powder there. If you find you do, I use just a little brush just to take off anything from around about. I'll just quickly do the other one. Don't need to be quite so diligent about that one because we're only going to be using part of it there. And I'll just pop my lid back on there and I'll pour that excess back into the pot later on. Now, here comes the fun bit. I am just going to plug, switch on my um, heat tool so it is a bit noisy. And you just want to make sure that you've got it up to temperature before you actually start working. Okay, that's pretty hot now. So hopefully you'll get to see the magic of when the powder starts to melt. starts to go glossy. There we go. And again, just check that you've got all of it heated up. And if you find your card goes, then you can heat it from the underside and that will straighten it back up again. Let's do this one. As you can see, my card is starting to curl up on this one. Put it on the other side, and it will straighten it. Okay, so the reason we've got this bit to spotlight is because I want to add some colour. And what I'm going to use for that are my stamping up ink pads. We'll start with the Melon Mambo first, beautiful bright pink colour there. To open the pad you just slide it and you would normally open it right away round like that. But what we want to do for our water colouring is give it a little squeeze. And then you end up with some of the ink on there, which you can then take your aqua painter and pick up some of that colour on there. Now I want to just very quickly watercolour this flower here. Now we don't have to be too particular because the embossing powder actually helps keep the ink in and I'm not going over onto the flowers, onto the leaves rather, when I don't want to be. Uh, I'll just a little bit more gentle there. There we go. And then just take a tissue and dab it 
and then the excess that was just sitting on top of the embossing powder will come off then. Um, I just use a tissue to clean my brush beside there. We're done with that one. Take that out of the way before I put my hand in it or something. And again, just give the pad a little squeeze. We've got some ink there. Pick that up and just colour your leaves. You might not be able to see it, but the some of the, the colour is pooling on top of the embossing there. So again, just dab that and it'll pick up anything that's sitting on that embossing and it just spotted that I've missed a little bit there. done. Um, what I then want to do is to cut out a heart and I'm using the Sweet and Sassy Framelit dies. Um, there are 15 in total in this set and I'm using this little one from there. Now I just want to line up where I want that. I want to have a bit of the green and a bit of the pink and a bit of the plain as well. So I don't want it all covered. I think probably... I think they will be fine. Now, I am just going to put on a little bit of washi tape. Just to hold that in place there. In fact, no. I've decided I want that all coloured. We're allowed to change our minds. So I want to make sure that that one is coloured as well. Don't have to do it all. That will do it. Just a little dab. There we go. Back in with my heart. I want, definitely want to get some of the green in. I think, I think it's going. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with that there. Now I'm just going to use my big shot off camera because my desk isn't big enough. There we go, and that is my spotlight part. Now what I'm going to do is put a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. One there, one there will be fine. Again, I'm going to use my Tombow Multipurpose Glue, which I should have stored upside down. Oops, kind of gone off the edge there. Just want to tidy that up before I get sticky everywhere. Bring back in my card base. And as I say, because the I'm using liquid glue, I've got a little bit of time to make sure I've got that nice and neat on there. You don't need to use liquid glue, that's just my personal preference. Um, just make sure that we've got that all stuck down. Take the backs off our dimensionals and then what we need to do is line that up so that I've got that little bit lined there and there and yeah that little bit of 
leave there. I think that looked right there for a second. That's it. There we go. So we've got our card that says from the heart and we've got just the heart coloured in there. I hope you've enjoyed that project. Um, if you've got any questions, just let me know and I'd love to hear your comments. So if you could just pop a comment on there, that'd be fantastic. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, happy crafting. Bye.